Hi everyone, this is Vivian. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do another envelope art. And this time I'm going to use these black envelope. I have to make sure that I write the, on the right side up. So I'm just gonna make a little mark. And um, I'm going to use these white gel pens. I have two here. These two are my favorite white gel pens. This one is from Uniball. This one is from Jelly Roll. So I will be using these and maybe, I think then maybe that's it. I'm going very minimalist today. And I have these two addresses here. If you would like to be part of this envelope art project, you can sign up in uh, a Google form. The link is in the description. You just need to make sure you check the box saying, yeah, you give me consent for showing your address on the video. And that's all you need to do to be part of this project. So the first one I'm going to, um, the first thing I'm going to do is write, uh, draw some guidelines. And here I have this just very simple guideline that I have here. And one of the name I have only has a uh, first name. So I just need to remember that I, uh, I need to space things differently. So I can, I want, I'm going to do some cityscape uh, drawing at the bottom. So I'm going to leave some room on the bottom and just make sure that I have that I have enough room for the address and also for my drawings. So I usually do two lines for the address. Actually, you know, I might make it even I'll do I'll move a little bit higher here. So this is where my name start. And this one, let's just say it's going to be for Jessica. I'm going to do uh, just penciled in where the name's going to be. It's just easier for me to make sure the position is correct. So for Jessica, I have Jessica. I can write it really big here. I'm going to do very simple lettering today. So I just, all I need to do is make sure they are centered. So Jessica. And I also need to be mindful that my address, my own address is going to be on the top and also the stamp. So I have these stamps, so I just need to make sure I leave enough room to, for the stamps that the name lettering is not going to run into it. So here I have J, hmm. maybe, actually, maybe a little to the left. Okay, Jessica, and then Jessica's address is here. So I have one, eight, seven, oh, hmm. For a typical address with just numbers, three, and then row, I just write it out and then depending on how much space I have left, I'll write out, I'll spell out the road or I'll just do abbreviation. So, and then plus this is only pencil. So now I know I have a lot more space here. So I just need to remember when I actually write it with the pen, I need, I can uh, space it out a little bit even more to make sure that they are centered. And we go river. Okay, and then I'll do something doodling at the bottom. You probably cannot see anything right now because it's very dark. So just be patient with me. And this one is going to be for Susan. She actually gave me last name, so I need to, I'm um, going to put it in two lines. So maybe the first one will be here. One, no, um, Susan. I do maybe three line for the name. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And then two lines for address. What 
is going on with Odie's helicopter. Okay, now let's begin. So now I don't need sky sheet anymore. Uh, I'm going to use, I don't know, I'm going to use the jelly roll today. So I'm going to do very simple um, sans serif style and just a little bit of embellishment. I have another video about video uh, embellishing sans serif lettering, like for beginners, if you're interested in learning how to do embellishment, you can, uh, you should definitely check out that video. So I think for envelope art, well, first of all, you do any kind of uh, handwriting addressing, it's already, it's already, you know, a notch above most other people do. And, and then if you just use a colored envelope, that makes your envelope already stand out and what you left needs what what's left that you can do to make it even more special is just you know very simple adding a little hand touched element such as hand lettering putting on stickers or just you know draw like little flowers or very simple doodle then you really need, don't need to do a whole lot to make your envelope look um special or any more vocabulary than just special. The trick for doing these live is not really the live part, it's the talking part. When I talk and draw, things a lot of time end up not as I planned. But that's the fun part. Okay. So when I do the serif, I really just make it um, draw the skeleton and then make it thicker and because i already kind of enough have an idea of how i want to embellish these i'm going to make it a little three-dimensional uh, make it uh, pop out of the envelope a little bit so i want to space out the these letters so i have room to draw um, like to elevate it you will see in a little bit the thing with these gel pen letter, uh, these gel pen is that you kind of want to draw it then lightly. So you almost want it to have, you, you don't want to press down the paper so hard. The more you want to press down and make the ink flow, the less the ink will flow. How to make the ink really flow out is to actually leave almost as if you are just gliding on the paper surface. And since these are hand letter, hand lettering really doesn't, uh, the charm is in its imperfection. So you don't have to worry about making things look like it's printed and, you know, all precise. The, you know, a little wonkiness is make it, it's what it makes so um, unique and human. So as you can see, this is why I like this pen so much. It really has a good coverage. Even on this black paper. And the difference between this gel pen, the Jolly Roll gel pen, Jolly Roll gel pen, and the Uniball is, it really depends on the type of paper. Sometimes one pen works better on the other it's, um, just because the paper is a, has a different finish or you know different grade different texture There I have the name. Okay. 
and I'm going to let it dry a little bit before I add the embellishment so I don't accidentally smudge them, smudge the lettering. So I'm going to move on to um, Jessica. So since there's only a first name, I assume it's going to get there fine. Um, but since there's only first name, I'm going to write a very bold and uh, just nice and thick. So even both of the even though both of these are going to be very simple sans serif, they can turn out to quite, look quite different. I'm going to switch to a pen just so you can see the difference. When I was doing the test last night, it feels like Jolly Roll works better on this envelope <clears throat> paper. But then sometimes it's also dependent, you know, who knows, on the weather, on the temperature, on my mood. So as you can see, since I'm coloring it, I really just, you know, it's just making making sure that the thickness stays consistent. So if you can write a simple block letter, then this really shouldn't be any more difficult. Yeah, as you can see, this paper, you know, for this envelope, this unibolt doesn't flow as well. The last time on my previous, one of my previous envelopes I did when I used the craft paper, the unibolt uh, works better than the jelly roll. So, all right, I'm going to switch back just because I don't like how that is working today. And, and you can see like there are some gaps. Uh, I'm going to let it dry and then uh, fill it in because right now if, when they're still wet if i fill it in i'm just going to be moving around in the the gel the gel ink and not really fixing much so i'll just wait a little bit before i fix it so i'm building the thickness as i go so i can that way i make sure i have room especially in letters like e if I don't build the thickness as I draw, uh, sometimes I end up not having enough space. I was mailing out some um, greeting cards for Chinese New Year and it was taking a lot longer to mail anything nowadays, I, I feel. I, I feel. So I hope these will eventually get to wherever they need to be. Well, this one's going to Arkansas and the other one's going to Connecticut. So it shouldn't be, shouldn't be too difficult. They're all kind of still on the East Coast. <clears throat> I think S is probably the trickiest letter to do in you know even in even in even in serif it's tricky so i'm actually going to do this And I think with like a darker color envelope, usually you just need to use like a lighter color, like white gel pen like I have here. Or if you use um, gold, silver markers, then even, you know, just your everyday handwriting is enough to make this envelope uh, look very pretty. <clears throat> Sorry, there's a frog in my throat. <clears> throat> what happened? Come out. Okay, not the prettiest S, but that's okay. I can work with this.
I am a pink. No, I'm still a pink. Why does it not flow? I was gonna play some music in the background, but but then I I found out that if I play some music, sometimes um the whole video gets mute because of copyright issue. <clears throat> so so sorry if um if there is some silence in in this video. So Jessica, <coughs> oh my God, why is there a frog in my throat right now? So as you can see, all you need is a little patient to do this coloring. Other than that, there's really no uh, special skills required to do this block letter. Why is it not flowing? Come on, work with me, Zhao Pen. I just commented you how good you are. Now you are not flowing. Okay, so maybe I want to see a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to let this dry a bit and uh, go back to this other one. So as you can see, like even just thickening the letters has a very different feel. So for Susan, I think I'm just going to do uh, simple 3d effect so uh, that means i'm just going to tilt my pa paper in maybe like 30 to 45 degree and draw <clears throat> short lines to um to indicate the height of these letters Doing this um, tilting paper is really just to help me to get, I'm really just drawing lines straight down so all the angles will be the same. And, uh, and since this is just lettering, it doesn't have to be super precise. So a tilting of the paper will do the trick. And now I just need to connect these. Oh, 
funny thing about doing live is, watch, I think my landlord is going to come out and start doing stuff in the garden. <laughs> I think that's oh hello. Uh, I think that's about. You know, it doesn't need to be too complicated. So this is just a simple way to make a three <clears throat> a three dimensional name. And uh, now I'm going to just write out the address. So it's forty six. And I like to do my address also in block letter. I think it's actually recommended by the U.S. Postal Office. But, you know, my reason is that, you know, it's easier to keep all your line looking uh, the height, the same height, because you're not dealing with ascenders and descenders. So I just, you know, uh, I don't have to worry about things running, uh, letters running into each other. So where are we? Plainville. Okay. Connecticut. Zero. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry and then come back to do um, some doodling at the bottom. And now we have this one. I can make this one also, uh, I'll do the same shadow effect, but then since this letter is so thick, I can also do something on the surface. So same thing, I'm tilting my paper and then just draw these little feet or um, indicator of, of the height of these letters. probably just use a piece of paper just in case I don't smudge them and I'm just going to connect these little feet that I drew And let's do the address. Oh, my pen is not working as how I want them to be. So here I have, um, I can space out this a little bit. One, wait, what is it? One, eight, seven, oh, eight. Citation mark? Interesting. Citation. Eagle River.
Okay, there we go. And now back to Susan. Uh, actually, I am going to. Hmm, no. So for Susan, let me think. What am I going to do? I'm going to draw a cityscape. And really, um, I think <laughs> it's very easy to make um, drawing look cute um, when you have white pen on dark paper. In this case, on black paper. So I'm just going to draw some you new know, matchbox drawing with like um i don't know cityscape this is going to take a while so if you watch this afterward you can definitely uh, speed through this or skip you know skip this part because i'm going to be drawing all these little windows and <clears throat> it's going to uh, take a while Eventually, I'll learn how to multitask and maybe sing a song while I do live. But for now, I can't. So, I'm just going to be com trying to get comfortable with this silence. This is probably going to look somewhat New Yorkish, because that's what I'm imagining, like some New Yorkish building. Um, can I do maybe another building like this Usually the pen glides pretty well. I think the pen is nervous to be on live.
Come on. Why are you not rolling today? Pen. Do a lower one just to finish it up. Maybe like this. Does that look like building? Let's kind of maybe give it a watercolor. Okay, I'll come back and uh, put on my address and see if I want to add anything else. And here for Jessica, I'm going to use another black marker and just to add some dots into these letters. Maybe, okay, you know, I need a Sharpie instead. So maybe Sharpie would do better, yeah. So again, this is one of the, <laughs> one of the techniques I uh, showed in the embellishment video. And there are, I think in that video I showed maybe like, I don't know, I forgot, six, seven, eight kind of embellishment you can do for um, serif letters. And they're all very simple and you can combine them, mix match them to create even more varieties. So now I am going to draw uh, something else at the bottom too. This time, well, this time I'm going to draw maybe a cutish kind of um, houses, <laughs> cutish house. You can definitely uh, pencil these in first, but I am feeling adventurous today going to go for like a little hut that I'm drawing. Houses for a hobbit. I don't know. Like castles. Hm. Looks like a face. Maybe give it a flag. And um, maybe a small one. Oh. 
I don't want to. Hmm. Okay, maybe on that side. Looks like everybody has a flag. And maybe like a real fence? I don't know. Imaginary playground. Oh, I hate when this pen is doing this. Usually it works really good. Today, I don't know, this pen is not in a good mood. It doesn't flow as well. I don't know why. And I want to have something round. I don't know. Yeah, maybe here. Like a Ferris wheel. That's what I'm trying to do here. Right now it looks like a CD. Mm. I swear that this pen usually flows really well. I don't know why today is giving me so much trouble. Okay, that looks somewhat like a fairy tale. Yeah. And then maybe another vein here. Hmm. Yeah, it looks kind of like a playground or fairy tale ground mm, let's see maybe you can go behind the house okay so now back to this i think i'm going to draw some cloud as you can see i really i sort of planned this but not really That's how I drew my cloud, so... Wait, 
copy the system. Okay. I suppose no. You can draw some plane, airplane if you want, but I think I think this is good. And then for oh my god, this video is turning into too long. Just wanna draw one more thing. I'm gonna put some glue on here. No, do I? Do I want to put glue on here? Yeah. Do they look like glue? No. I suppose you can do some trees if you want. No trees for, for this envelope today. Okay, so after that, I'm just going to put my return address. So this is my envelopes for today, for this month. If you would like to be part of this art project that I'm doing, you can sign up the um, link to the, it's a Google form, so you can sign up and the link is in the description below. And also, uh, as I mentioned, this other video that I did for hand lettering, uh, simple embellishments. The link is also in the description as well as the <laughs> as well as link to these pens, but now after this demonstration, you probably don't want to buy this pen because it's, it's not behaving today. But really, normally it works really well. And I have other envelope that I did. Um, the playlist is also in the um, link. It's also in the description. So here are my two envelopes. Let me put on the stamps and then um, also I think after it's completely dry. I'll put a um, kind of protection coating on it so because these are not watercolor, uh, these are not waterproof. So I'll put a coating, kind of a finishing on it. So make sure it doesn't get smudged when it gets into the rain. So here are my envelopes. So if you want to be part of this, uh, make sure you sign up. And I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye.